Coach Kara here. So today I want to talk about wanting to talk to someone who is attractive, yet you're feeling a bit intimidated, okay? So yeah, I just wanted to, to, um, to talk about why you may feel as though you can't approach someone who's attractive or um, will they be interested in you? You know, types of different attractive people that you should approach and that kind of stuff, okay? So we're just gonna talk about a mix, a mixture of things today. So listen guys, if you are wanting to talk to someone and you think they're out of your league as far as the looks go, now we're talking about the physical. I do have another video where I talk about being attractive, um, in a, like spiritually in a different way, okay? So you can check out that video, I'll definitely post that for you to click on and check out. No, but today we're talking about the physicality of someone, like facial, if you're into the body as far as looks go, that sort of thing. So, and I know a lot of people may have this sort of trepidation when it comes to wanting to interact with someone who is maybe more popular because of their looks or just simply because they're your type. However, you may not be theirs. This is my love. The reason why you may feel as though you can't approach someone who is attractive is probably because you are feeling some level of insecurity about your own self. You may have a poor sense of self-esteem or lack the confidence to, you know, and the courage to approach this person. So there is something internally that you must work on, okay? Once you do the work, I promise you, you will be brave enough to approach certain creatures. Now that I've said that, you don't want to, uh, to approach just any attractive person. So just to break it down in threes, I'm going to share three different types of people, of attractive people, uh, two, which we'll discuss firstly, that you should not, <laughs> probably even want to go anywhere near them. And then the last one, of course. So the first, attractive person who's actually unattractive well he's probably the more arrogant type he or she you know they come from a, a great upbringing may have always been the cute kid have been popular always had parties you know they always had and so they grow up with this mentality of not only am i gorgeous or beautiful I also have means you know they get a college education and they become arrogant they're you know they're dating multiple people or can date pretty much anyone they want to become sex successful so this is the more arrogant type of attractive person that is out there and this is also the one type that you probably want to try to stay away from especially if you are looking for something you know serious and long term because this is the individual who is very self-centered and into themselves and may have that mentality of i'm entitled you know self-entitlement mentality you know all of that that goes along with being an arrogant asshole okay male or female so that's one type that you should probably uh refrain from approaching the other attractive unattractive individual would be someone who probably grew up as a cute little ugly duckling you know they wasn't the cutest kid wasn't as popular but as they grew up let's just say in the adolescent years and they began to work on themselves perhaps you know if he's a guy he probably drank protein shakes to, to gain more muscle and to look more masculine you know, if she's a female, she probably, you know, worked on her hair and, and started wearing makeup and that sort of thing and eventually grew into their looks. Even still, when this type of transition happens and you've been struggling all those years with insecurities and esteem issues, once you transform into, I guess, a beautiful being, <laughs> those thoughts remain. Generally, they remain. And this is why you may see someone may have surgery as they get over just, just, to, just to further enhance, or they still have some level of insecurity. And when 
this happens or is occurring, they're usually attention seeking. So if they have a certain number of people always trying to get at them, you know, just checking for them, you know, always in the DMs, they're gonna always want that, need that. They're feeding off that because their ego allows it, okay? Without it, it takes them to a, a different place, a darker place. So though they may be attractive now, they still have those ugly duckling thoughts going through their mind, just kind of like someone who has massive weight loss. They still have thoughts of themselves when they were that, even though they've lost all that weight. You understand? So this is a person who's going to struggle with their ego and they may not be as loving and caring. You know, there's, there's an energy there that makes you feel like, hey, this person isn't just going to, going to solely be into me. They're always going to seek attention from the outside. You understand? So there may, there, there's going to be some struggles there. So if you, in fact, have dealt with someone like this or you know someone who has been with someone, they're attractive, but yet they seem insecure, perhaps this is why. And you know, you may not understand why, why are you so handsome? You get all these compliments and everyone, you know, fawns all over you or whatever, but yet you just act so insecure. It may, look, most things, most trauma always goes back to the childhood in many cases. So this is probably one very good reason so As the other type of person, attractive person that I like to talk about, is the one who may not be all into their looks. They may not have been even aware that they were a, quite attractive, you know, all the life, and they may not even care about any of that. Might be good hearted, loving, kind, you know, thoughtful of other people, trustworthy. However, they may always end up with the wrong type of person. You know, the one who is going to be possessive and controlling, going through their phones, busting out their windows, all because of their looks. And while that, and when that happens, that type of individual may be leery of just opening him or herself up to dating because of all the drama that comes along with their looks, okay? Having said all of that, Never mind the first two people that, that, that we've talked about. Those are the ones you want to look out for and kind of <laughs> steer clear of. But this other attractive person who may have a great aura and all that positive energy and attracting everything and everyone, if you approach them, they may be willing to, you know, engage with you. You, you can't assume with all attractive people, they're not all alike. I promise you this, okay? That attractive person may actually want someone who doesn't attract a whole lot of attention and also and into themselves, you know, self-centered, even though they're trying to be in a relationship. They may, someone, may want someone who's warm-hearted and loving and nurturing and basically going to treat them as though they're just a, a regular type of person. They may not need all of that extra. So you just can't assume that attra an attractive person will not want to pursue you okay and again these are types of people they attract everything so it can get very scary in the dating world and I know some of you may be saying well and you're pretty and that's easy for you to say yeah I mean I, have I been told no maybe once and that was a reluctant no only because he was a relationship you know, of course, it's like, hey, say no more, right? But yeah, I've I've always been able to talk to whomever, flirt or date or whatever with who I wanted to and just know that he was attractive. See, what people tend to, to not realize when it comes to being an attractive person, right? It's a blessing and it is equally a curse, all right? So granted, you are a beautiful being to, to people in, in others' eyes. You know, they may treat you differently, you know, give you special treatment or give you lots of attention. In most cases, it's unwanted attention, especially if you're not an attention seeker. I have that issue. You know, it, there's a lot of things that come with it. You, you know, it's 
just there's, there's some perks to being an attractive person as far as looks goes. However, what you guys don't really know about or aware is, is the madness that comes along with it. All right. So you have your, your little blessings, but there are also, it, it's also a major curse. Like I was giving the example about the guy or girl who maybe have been with someone who's controlling and possessive and always find themselves in a toxic situation. Well, for me, and I've shared, with, shared this with you guys, you know, quite some time ago, but stalkers have been my thing. So yeah, <laughs> you know, but when I was like 19, 20, you know, maybe 21, I could just talk and flirt to anybody, no worries. But as I began to look more mature and womanly, I, I, I had problems. Around maybe 22-ish was when I en encountered one of six stalker ish incidents so between the first and the sixth one uh which were quite nightmarish to say the least it it really had an impact on me especially how i engage or interact with a man that i don't know so yeah you know just saying simply saying hello good morning i no longer do that just for the very simple fact of hey kara this guy may chase you down the road in his car and follow you home again or some kind of craziness like that, trying to run you off the road. You know, having to encounter all types of inc incidents and situations, especially as a woman, it's it's quite, it's a little different from a man, even though men, they have the harassment, harassments as well, believe it or not, but for a, a female, it's quite differently. So it has impacted me a lot it's on, on how I engage in public, you know? And when you're receiving all sorts of unwanted attention it, and you don't want it, it's like, it's almost like intrusive. I remember one time I, um, I had just finished doing a tutorial. That was when I was doing makeup on YouTube, which I felt was so vain. So I stopped doing it. Right. And I went out actually like few, quite a few times I would go out into the store while I'm dressed and made up or whatever, but I would always have people staring at me and watching me and I didn't know why. And one day I come home and I say to my guy, like, dude, what is, is something wrong with my thing? Is something wrong with me? People just keep watching me. I was so upset about it. He said, well, Kara, it's because you're pretty. And I was like, no, but they're staring at me like there's something wrong. He said, no, it really is because you're pretty. That was the last time I went out with makeup on. So for, that was years ago. So. From then, I stopped going outside wearing makeup. I just want to blend in with everyone else, you know? The only time I wear it is for you guys because I really actually want your attention and I don't want to scare you away as well or uh, for special occasions. So it's not all what it's cracked up to be. You know, you may say it's easy for you to date someone, you know, who's much like yourself. I mean, it is, but at the same time, is that a good thing? But if you are wondering what type of person I am attracted to, some of you may be, others may not give a damn, but for those who may be, so I am actually attracted to, I guess you could call them as far as looks go. So I'm a, I'm a face person. So you have people who are attracted to faces or the body, or maybe even both. Me, I am a face person. So for me to even be attracted to you, and this is gonna sound a little crazy, but your face has to be like symmetrical because I, I draw, you know, I'm artistic. So when I look at someone's face, it, it should automatically, in my, uh, my eyes, be proportionate. And that's what I'm attracted to, you know, like nearly perfection. And if it isn't, well, I'll always feel as though I wanna take a pencil and just erase and then correct what I find, you know, like it's not perfect, but that's just me. Like it'll drive me bonkers if I was to date someone who didn't have a symmetrical type face, a good look. Everything is where in alignment where it should be. So yeah, I know it's crazy, but yeah. But um, yeah, and that's, and it's never really about the body. I don't, I'm not into muscles and all that stuff. I'm, I'm really into more of someone's character, you know, how they present themselves, how they are, how they treat people, do they have self-respect, do they give respect, are they trustworthy? 
And, and that's another thing. If you are trying to be with someone, if you've been contemplating with being someone who is quite attractive, you're going to have to trust them. Like sincere, like wholeheartedly, which is why you probably need to work on yourself. You are going to have to trust them because if people are going to be throwing themselves at them, your friends are going to be checking that, per checking you, your, your, your boo out. I promise you, they're going to, they will be checking for your person, the waitress, the waiter, <laughs> clerks. They're always going to get that flirtatious vibe and energy. And you're going to have to be willing to deal with that and cope with that. But just know your person isn't going to go outside those bounds. All right. So that is a major factor of trying to date someone who is quite attractive. Again, if they respect you and they respect themselves, no worries there, my love. Having said all of this, but as quiet as it's kept, I know you guys may be warning about dating someone who is, you know, what you feel is out of your league. Just know anyone can disappoint you and break your heart. These lights are killing me. For real, so my nose is like sweating. But yeah, anyone can hurt you. In case you have been living outside of the stratosphere, it is the very less attractive people, you know, outwardly and inwardly, who are causing all kinds of havoc in people's lives. They are the one who are breaking your heart destroying your ego, your self-esteem. They are the one who is being dysfunctional in situationships. It is is rarely the very attractive person. See, if that's if it's the arrogant or the egotistical attractive person that you've been dealing with, they pretty much are an open book. Okay? So it's really no worries there. That's up to you to put yourself in that position. But when you have someone who is less attractive, let's just say an average person, or maybe even less on a scale, they are the ones who's, who's causing all the damage. So at the end of the day, you're going to have to take your pick, yeah? Either you're going to be brokenhearted by someone who's very attractive or less. I mean, it really isn't any difference. The, the thing is, is that, you know, it's, it's about your choosing you know, knowing how to get into a situation, get the hell out of it real quick when those flags start raising. Yeah. So that's what I, I wanted to share with you. I think that's all that I, that I wanted to cover. Um, just be brave, believe in yourself. You can talk to anyone. And look, if you get a no or maybe someone run around, don't think it's all about you. <laughs> don't be vain. It may not be. It, be. it may be because they don't have themselves together. It may be because they're trying to get off some sort of drug. They may be an addict and trying to save you from, because you're a good person, they can see that, and maybe trying to help you dodge a bullet. It could be because they are involved with someone else, maybe trying to get out of the situation. It's complicated. There could be many reasons as to why. So if you get the brush off, take it with a grain of salt. It may not mean anything, okay? It may not have anything to do with you. All right. At the end of it all, you you just might be dodging a bullet. All right, loves. Hopefully that has been informative for you. Yeah. Um, if you have any further questions or dating or need dating coaching, all of my information will be linked down below. That is all for now, my love. Until next time.